everybody. Hope you can see me. Um, today we're going to do a large whale on a white background. Oh, that's my little puppy. Come here. Come here. And say hi to everybody. Okay. That's Cody. Yeah. Be a good boy. Okay? All right. So, we're going to do a whale. And I've already pre-done the white background. And, um... Uh, kind of a freeform whale um, and uh, so we'll see what happens and I'll try to go through it step by step with you and also on my last video um, I was rocking out a little bit so I hope you didn't mind my dancing it's a little crazy sometimes in my studio it's a few glasses of wine you never know but uh, anyways come along and join me guys and we'll get started thanks bye Okay, everybody, I hope you can see this well. Looks like you can. All right, so I got the whale blocked in right here. This is a 15 by 30 canvas. And this technique that I'm going to show you, again, I, I pre-did the white background. It's just plain white paint. Um, I brought got my trusty water watering can and down here is going to be splash and so you typically use this type of um paint technique with watercolors but you can also use it for acrylics um you just have to make sure you dry you know before you go after you've painted so i'm gonna put a little wetness on the canvas just like that and I'm gonna start in. And it literally will just spread out. And I'm using, I'm using, um, Liquitex Basics, that's my favorite paint, or Artist Loft, uh, these two. And uh, I just get in there and go. Now, what you can do is uh, you can also You're just wetting your brush, dipping it in the paint. Well, that's a little bold there, but we can. Now that is going to dry a little bit lighter because um, we used quite a bit of water. So what we can do is come in here. Get these a little bit saturated a little bit more. 
I'll let that dry real quick. And we're going to um, see how that come out, can, comes out. Okay, guys? Let me clean off my brush real quick. Actually, I'm going to, while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to start in on the whale body. Guys, let's let's let that dry. Okay, I'm gonna take a blow dryer to it and kind of speed it up. But let's um, see what happens with the colors. Okay. Okay, so I dried it a little bit, and um, I noticed the colors were dulling. So what I'm doing is I'm just coming back in here with the hair dryer in my hand. I want to get. Okay, while this, the painting is still drawing with the hair dryer, I'm playing with my crazy ass dog. 
Come here. Give it to Mama. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. You ready? Here it comes. Okay, guys. So, I think you can see that the colors have really came out well. So now I'm going to finish the rest of the whale. It's a very, very, very simple painting. Um, I just wanted a lot of color. We'll come back in with some silvers and some whites, but I got to, um, you know, start putting a little more definition on the whale.
Okay, now I'm going to start adding in some white. Okay, everybody, so there it is finished. I will try to zoom in for you. So you can see the detail. There we go. So I hope you all enjoyed this and look forward to the next video. Please like and subscribe, guys. It's very important to me. And also, I'd love for you to visit my website, S. Stevenson Designs, where you can purchase any of my work. So, love to hear from you there as well. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.